C. Lindelof videos, derivatives through the limit process. I'm actually doing this video because some professors want to see this perfectly, and I, I want you to see what the method has to look like. Uh, a lot of us, as we get better at math or as you get really confident about your calculus, you kind of get lazy and you drop things, and some professors will accept it, but some of them are really sticklers. So let me show you what this should look like. Um, keeping in mind that this we're using this limit process that f prime at x is equal to the limit as the change in x approaches zero of f of x plus change of x minus f of x all over change of x. So if I was asked to prove, if I was asked to find the limit of this, find the derivative of this using the limit process, this is what my professor would expect of me. He or she would expect me to start off by saying f prime at x is equal to the limit as the change in x approaches zero and then here I'm just going to fill in this limit process stuff. So 3 says here x plus change in x. So 3x plus change in x. It's squared, so it's squared. Minus 5 times x plus change in x plus 2 minus the quantity 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 all over the change in x. If you didn't write these first two parts, your professor would say that you were wrong because you're pursuing this through the limit process. Until you actually take this limit, you evaluate the limit, you have to keep declaring that you're going to take it. So now I'm going to say it again. You don't have to put the f prime at x again, but you do have to write this. So you have to write again that I intend to take the limit as the change of x approaches 0 of. Now you're going to go ahead and expand this. Please be careful. You can't... Um, distribute this 3 through here because you're stuck with this exponent that's different than 1. So you can't do that. So this 3 is this 3. I'm going to expand x plus change in x squared, which happens to be x squared plus 2x change of x plus change of x squared. Some very, very weird professors will actually make you put this in parentheses because this is one symbol. So to make sure that no one thinks it's delta times x squared, but we get that. Most professors won't beat you up too bad about that. Then distribute this 5 in, so negative 5x minus, uh, excuse me, 5 changes of x, so 5 changes of x, plus 2. Then I'm going to distribute this in here, negative 3x squared, distribute this here, plus 5x, distribute this here, negative 2 all over change of x. The next line, every single line, this is why I'm doing this video, because we're talking about perfect form here. If you're at Harvard or Yale or somewhere, they're going to force you into this method, this perfect form. So we're going to stay in it. I'm going to continue to declare that my intention is to take the limit, or evaluate the limit as the change of x goes to 0. I'm going to go ahead and distribute this through here, here, and here, which will give me 3x squared plus 6x change of x plus 3 changes of x squared minus 5x minus 5 changes of x plus 2 minus 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. It looks horrible, and they want to see all of it. They want to see all of it. You can go ahead and simplify from here, but having... Uh, said that we're going to go ahead and simplify, and I will. We have 3x here. You're supposed to just put one line through it. Don't erase it. Don't erase it. Don't scribble it out. Your professor wants to see what you did, so you can line that out. We also have negative 5x's plus 5x's. We have positive 2, and we have negative 2. Okay, so we're getting to where we're going now. But believe it or not, again, we have, because we can't take this limit, we can't set change in x to 0 because of this. So you have to declare again, my intention is to take the limit as the change in x goes to 0. You rewrite. x. I'm going to go ahead and factor here because all of these have these factors of change of x, right? It's a change of x here. And so from all of this, I'm going to go ahead and factor out one change of x and get 6x, right, plus 3 changes of x minus 5 all over change of x. Finally finally what you're able to do here because now you can go ahead and evaluate this limit because line this out one time for your professor they want to see what you did you don't have to explain what you did but you have to show what you did now i'm actually going to take this limit so i'm going to say that 6x plus 3 times 0 
I said I'm going to let change of x go to 0. Change of x just went to 0. Minus 5 is equal to f prime at x. There is your perfect solution. So I hope this is helpful. I know a lot of you already know the limit process, but perfect form is perfect form. So hopefully you're chasing that. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Oh, and please subscribe.